I guess before we get too stuck into AI and marketing, Jeff, um, you've got a, a fantastic fun fact for the day, which I've never even been aware of until you've, you've posted it into our registration form. So do you want to kind of walk us through that? Absolutely. So if anybody knows the different type of AI tools that are out there, we have the three big players. We have ChatGPT, we have uh, Gemini from Google, and then we have Anthropics Claude. Anthropics Claude released their version three, and it seemed to be performing a little bit differently than most other AI, uh, AIs out there. And what it was doing is it was showing signs of what we'd consider AGI. Now, this isn't true AGI. There's still a lot of things that need to take place in order for AGI to, to actually be presented to the market in a way that's functional. However, one of the signs of AGI is being able to, to have like a self-awareness to itself to be able to understand when people are prompting it that it is an AI itself. So that's one aspect of an, of an AGI system. Well, during their research of Claude 3 and their testing of it, uh, they gave it a large document that was several hundred pages. And with built inside of those several hundred pages, they put a needle in the haystack is what they call it. It's a fact that is separate and completely weird from the rest of the document. So if the document was about, um, you know, testing toothpaste, for instance, um, you would look through that documentation and say, okay, this all seems coherent and it's all within each, within itself, it makes sense. But they put a weird pizza topping fact in there that was like, what is the best uh, pizza toppings for a pizza and it gave some like random ingredients like marshmallows or peanut butter on a pizza and uh, Claude reviewed the document and they asked Claude is there anything about the document that's kind of unusual and Claude responded with there is something in the document that is unusual there's a random pizza topping uh, recipe inside of here that makes no sense and I think that you guys are either playing a game on me or you're trying to see if I'm paying attention and that is huge that's huge for an AI system because it's able to then say that within all of this documentation there it was something that it was definitely not supposed to be there and i think that you're trying to play a trick on me and that self-awareness from an ai system is very very exciting because then we can actually see that pervade into the future with that system becoming more and more aware that it is an ai system which is to me just the most exciting thing in the world and what that means for in terms of like creating content or anything like that is that once it has that understanding of it is an AI system, it does a lot better with the reasoning uh, into the future of what it can do for you. So to understand that what its position is and how it can kind of learn the aspects of like how a human communicates with it to then improve its own content output. Wow. That's probably the deepest start to a show that we've had so far. 